Good evening, Des Moines, Iowa, and the world. This is the Doc and Lefty program coming to you from the north side of Des Moines, broadcast on DocAndLefty.com. As always, this is Lefty bringing you the perspectives you love from the sides you hate. And across the table, he's got his nerd glasses and his nerd hunting pet going. Doc Petrosh, Doc, what is going on, my man? You can't prove I have my nerd glass glasses on. Spoken, you can't prove I can speak either. Spoken like a 2016 Republican. Yes, that's right. You know why? Because you gotta grab them. You deny. gotta grab them. Oh, let's and I not... never said that. <laughs> I never said it, but you still have to grab them, right? Well, okay. Now, what's up? Not much. Just hanging out. You know, uh, uh, I want to uh, send a couple of shout outs to people. Uh, we had a great debate on Friday. And I know you're heartbroken to have missed it. I am. I am. I, I got back to the oh, office about 1230. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Everybody. Now, here's the truth. Blake is a lawyer. He's excellent at cross-examination. And everybody loved your questions. Mm-hmm. They thought they were fair. Everybody thought my questions were fair. And everybody thought that's what a debate should be. Both sides. Don't get me wrong. Neither side was really too happy with some of my follow-up questions. And some of them weren't too happy with yours, but everybody thought it was fair. Now, I'm going to tell you, that is how you're supposed to run a debate. I don't know what the heck, NBC and who was the other ones running it, and then tomorrow, what, tomorrow was Fox. Tomorrow. Well, I at least, we you and I both can, can at least admit that he's a, a good interviewer, but he is slanted. I admit so. nothing. No, oh, you got to, Chris. You no. cannot denigrate. I'm not Chris denigrating Wallen. anything. I'm not denigrating anything except that he's already he's already uh, been out in front saying I'm not going to fact check anybody. I'm not going to participate. I'm just going to like ask questions, let them go at it. And I think in this particular campaign, 2016, that you've seen criticism of that attitude. Like uh, uh, Elaine Ka- Keanu didn't really do much, and everybody said that she disappeared. Uh, yeah, well, uh, that's true. Anderson Cooper and Martha Raddatz did a little bit more than uh, than oh whom uh, my, oh Lester Holt, and they got criticized, and Lester Holt got criticized. It just so I don't know where the balance is. Yeah, but it's yeah you've got you've got a can you've got one of the candidates who demonstrably it, who who will be on tape saying one thing and then demonstrably deny it like right to everybody's face yeah you know and i wish hillary would stop doing that yeah me too. you know you know you, me too. so anyway this debate was between bryce and bryce smith and ralph watts and apparently part of the problem that one of the major issues is this aaron miller wrote a letter yeah to the des moines register and bryce keeps saying well listen uh ralph watts broke his word to her and everything else i spoke to her directly and she said, Ralph never promised me anything. He said he would vote to bring the, the bill, the cannabis oil mm-hmm. bill, out of committee, which he did. Ralph claims that he was the deciding vote. The record shows otherwise. Right. So. Well, and he's trying to make, po- he's trying to make points that without him, uh, that he, he shouldn't be criticized for voting against it in the chamber because without him, it wouldn't have gotten to the chamber. And that's just, that's really the, cri- if, I think that uh, maybe the Smith campaign um, was trying to prove too much. Which is something yeah. that's a problem for people. You're, you're, you have it. You have a legitimate criticism that you're trying to go for the uh, the kill shot rather than just choke them out. Yeah. But Ralph Wa- Ralph Watts is is telling. Um, he's not he's not being uh, accurate when he describes his role in that vote. Well, and 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 that may be true because it definitely looks like he was not the deciding vote. However, when you're doing these markup committees like like yep. he was on, a lot of times. If you can convince your compatriots, right, he could have said, well, you know, listen, I convinced a lot of my Republican friends to, to vote for it, and therefore, if it wasn't for me, it wouldn't have come out of committee. That's I can see not him, what he, that's not what but he's that saying, isn't though. what he's saying, yeah. but that could be something that goes on. And of course, you know, the, the problem is that particular issue, it looks like, um, you know, a little bit of a Pinocchio scale on um, both sides just a little bit well so. i don't know uh, the smith campaign definitely made it out to seem as if there was more of a conversation about his particular chamber vote his vote on the floor than there actually was although um uh, ms miller has not backed off her criticism of ralph watts she left multiple comments on the show uh, yes, Facebook yes, page. She, yes, she did. The letter so to the Des Moines editor was not favorable to Ralph Watts. It just there, there something happened there. We're not getting, and, 
as, as well, what, is the what, case usually we're not she, getting the full story well what she described to me and uh, and i've read the comments and it, it doesn't really like uh flesh out what what went on but she told her story and ralph watt said you know what this story has changed my mind but at no time did he ever actually agree to vote positively mm-hmm. for this and she made that clear and so part of the part of the thing is 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 and and really and ralph explained it to me and i'm like why didn't you just say that on yeah you know out in public is how many people i mean let's say we legalize pot here in yep. some way and the federal government let's say for for all for the sake of argument trump wins okay or gary well gary johnson wins who cares right yeah but if trump wins and suddenly he goes well listen we're going to start enforcing the federal law now you have a lot of people who are trying to f- obey the law being arrested having all kinds of problems along those lines and we need to clarify this and i think and, and in part in, in a conversation after the after the thing that is what ralph watts had said along those lines and that is in part why he sent the the letter off to the fda well i will say that um having having worked um as an intern while i was in law school for the united states attorney under matt whitaker um who who was uh for that for the uh the summer of 2011 uh and sitting in on a lot of um uh sentencing for drug issues even back then under the bush administration um with well i should say what 2011 good grief of the summer of uh of 2009 i guess uh, he hadn't hadn't been replaced by obama's nominee yet uh there were a lot of of pleas sentencing things like that, drug crimes but they mainly had to deal with large quantities of methamphetamine or uh, cocaine not a, there was some there was marijuana for sure but uh, methamphetamine is what they were focusing on and almost always there were uh uh gun issues attached yes. to them so the feds care more about large quantities and guns than i think they do busting these uh, dispensaries and things you never hear about even i mean medical marijuana has been legal in california for years and years and years and you didn't hear about the bush administration going after these dispensaries in california um i guess maybe if they they thumb their noses too hard every once in a while they would do a heat check but uh, nothing too serious so i just i don't anticipate it being much of a problem in the states the fed federal government the fbi and federal law enforcement have much bigger fish to fry than going after individual pot uh growers or individual pot sellers in these different states i now, think no i i agree with you i i agree with you 100 percent. the problem is you never know you what never kind know. of what kind of you know hair gets up somebody's yep. craw and you know well even even the uh um even the bush administration way because they prioritize they uh, they prioritize law enforcement um issues uh, at every level so the bush administration even though it was you know seeking uh it was aggressively going after this stuff uh, and this carried over into obama too they were going they they prioritized breaking up child pornography rings and uh things uh and and sex trafficking much more highly than they went after drug users and you anticipated president trump would prioritize illegal immigration uh, uh, uh rounding people up in deportation programs a lot more highly even than drugs i would i would expect he he, he has not come, donald trump has not come out forcefully on a drug enforcement issue that i've heard in this campaign well and i i think that if ralph would just change what he said to right. you know that makes a lot more sense rather than having this big rigmarole. You never want to be on at odds with the federal government or the state law. You just don't. There's a supremacy clause for a reason. I take his point. I just think that he's. I think that's a. I think that's an explanation looking for a problem because I think you see. That you know might be. Yeah. Because sure. he. I think he recognizes something. But just like maybe Bryce was trying to prove too much, Ralph was too defensive. You don't have to yeah. win every single war. Yeah, and they were. And and the truth is, is both camps were were very respectful. Uh, yeah, I, before that's and during and yep. so that was that was a great time so if you want us to run your debate let us know we'll do it anyway we're up to our first break uh what are we going to talk about after this oh man there's been so much going on this last week uh, right. my beloved chicago cubs are playing tonight at seven o'clock in game three of the nlcs oh my god so i can't believe you're even here so we we're going to need to maybe speed through the second half hour but uh <laughs> 
Uh, we're gonna <laughs> still going to be 30 minutes. We're going to talk about, um, uh, well, it, depend, it depends on how many. Well, you know, I am a Republican and a Catholic, so if anybody can get time to speed up, it would be me. That's not been my experience in Catholic masses, <laughs> but, um, and, I, and I think that when you were uh, maybe... 14, 15 years old, you had a similar experience <laughs> to that second Close one. Close uh, But, uh, no, we're going we're gonna to talk about the, the news this week, um, and just kind of, it's, there's almost so much, we're going to take a shotgun approach. We've got Trump melding, uh, melding down, we've got WikiLeaks exposing all kinds of Eating emails. Yep. Uh, we've got uh, uh, the debate tomorrow that we can talk about, and all of the attendant things there, too. So, that's what I want to talk about. All right. We'll be back right after this break with the Shotgun Approach. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We want to thank all of our sponsors, Des Moines Anesthesia at 515-574-6442, Halo Capital, Des Moines Anesthesia.com, Lubinus Law Firm, and Bertrosh Associates. Without you, we couldn't do what we do. We'll be back right after this break.